Here are three quick relief tips for knee pain due to an ACL tear. Number one is get into a knee brace as soon as possible, especially a knee brace like this. This is the kind that I highly recommend. It is one that has brackets or hinges on the side, I'm sorry. It's got hinges built into each side of the brace so that when you bend your knee, you have these stiff sides that don't let your knee move sideways because the brace holds you in position. You've just suffered an injury to a ligament if you have an ACL tear, and ligaments' jobs are to hold joints together. They create stability as the joint moves, and so if you don't have full stability, then you need external stability. It is a requirement of all my patients. I make them get into a brace. It feels so much better. The knee starts stops hurting, and it starts to heal much faster than if you weren't in a knee brace. Tip number two is to get in some crutches right away. Crutches like these can get you off your weight so that you're bending the injured knee and you're just toe touching down. Not You don't have to hold your leg up all the way, but if you just put a tolerable amount of weight, usually toe touching, maybe if we talk percentages, put like 10% down, not more than that, on the leg that's injured. And you have to be on these crutches anytime you're up on your feet. What this does is it allows your muscles to relax so that you're not tensioning up your muscles by trying to put weight on it. And it also gives your body a chance to not be aggravating the ACL tear because if you put your full weight as you're taking steps while walking and it buckles on you, you're potentially ganking on your ACL. But if you get on the crutches, then you give your ACL a break and you give it a chance to begin to heal. And tip number three is to gently move your knee within the tolerable amount of motion that you can move. What a lot of people do is they avoid moving their knee. They keep it just, they baby it. They keep it in the same position all day long and they don't do any bending or straightening out because they're afraid to make it worse. They're afraid that they're going to tear their ACL more. But you need to listen to your body. If you can bend it within a little bit of motion, do so. Do what's tolerable. And also pay attention to how you feel right afterwards. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't cause any problems in the next 10, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, the rest of the day, then you're okay. If it didn't get any worse at all, then that's how it's supposed to be. Now you don't want to aggressively stretch if you're in the beginning stages of healing from an ACL. You wanna just move with what you can without any more pain. Now I want you to understand that these tips that I've shown you here, the brace, the crutches, and bending your knee are just the first phase of healing an ACL. Here I've got this chart that I have in my ACL tear recovery program. You can learn more about that in the details in the description. It's phase one right here, the orange section. There are four phases that I take my patients through to fully heal their ACL without surgery. And even if you've had surgery in the past, but it, it's flaring up on you and you're trying to figure out to how to not have a second surgery, this program can help you out and these tips apply to you as well. You've got to stop tensioning your ACL and using the brace and the crutches and just moving within what you can normally without any pain, that's what's going to help you.